Hello, navigation traders. In this video, I wanna take just a couple minutes to introduce you to a new tool that we just released and it's now available in your members area. If you look down here under course downloads, you can see we added a new icon and it's called the earnings watch list. Now remember, this is our first version of the earnings watch list, so we really want your feedback. Let us know if there's anything that you think we can do to improve this tool to make your trading more efficient. To open the watch list, simply click on the icon button. I'm using a Mac, so it's simply going to download the spreadsheet here on my computer. And let's pull it up and take a look. So here's what it looks like when you open it up. First of all, there's a link to the video that you're watching now. So if you ever need to go back and watch it, you'll have the link when you open up the spreadsheet. Next, we made a small note here that earnings data in the chart below is an estimate. Please confirm all earnings dates and times with your broker or the stock's website. The data source that we're using for this information is coming from the NASDAQ exchange. We can't guarantee that the information is accurate, so just make sure you confirm with your broker or the company's website before you place any trade around a particular stock. All right, so here's what we've got. We've got the stock name, we've got the symbol, and then this spreadsheet is sorted in order of the nearest term earnings announcement first. So you can see at the time of this recording, it's October 8th, and you can see October 11th, 12th, 15th, 16th, and so on. All those earnings dates are in order from the most recent down to the furthest date away. And the last column is either going to say AMC, which stands for after the market close, or BMO, which stands for before market open. So you'll know the approximate time that that stock is announcing their earnings on that specific date. Now you'll notice in some cases that column is left blank, in this case for Goldman Sachs, because the NASDAQ data did not have an indication as to whether Goldman Sachs was announcing before the market opens or after the market closed. So in that case, it'll just be left blank. So in certain cases like this one, you can actually go to the platform and confirm whether that's an aftermarket close or before market open. If we open the Thinkorswim platform and take a look at Goldman Sachs, as you know from our earnings course, if you click on the little blue light bulb, the earnings announcement data will pop up. So in this case on 1016, you can see they've listed it as before market open. So that's a really quick way to confirm the data just to make sure it's correct or if there's data missing, you can confirm that information. One other thing that you'll notice if we scroll down as an example and take a look at Apple, it has Apple listed to announce earnings on 11.1. However, if we go to the Thinkorswim platform and take a look, you can see that on Apple, there's a question mark on the blue dot. If we click on that, it actually gives us an earnings date of 1030 after market as opposed to 111, but that's because it's not completely confirmed. So one thing to understand about this spreadsheet is this is going to be updated every week. So once a week, this is updated. So anytime you come to your members area, to open up the spreadsheet, it is going to have the new, fresh, updated data. So if something is missing when you open it up initially, it may update the next week because the NASDAQ data now has confirmed information and it'll be posted on the sheet as well. So I hope this tool is helpful for those of you who like to trade earnings announcements. And again, if you have any feedback at all, we would love to hear it so we can continue to improve these tools for our members. Thanks everybody, happy trading.